Hey guys, and welcome to Slash Rex Games. I know in my last tutorial I told you that I would be uh, creating uh, a HUD this uh, tutorial. However, I would first like to introduce you to views as in the next tutorial, which we will be doing HUDs, I would like to create a static HUD that always follows the player. So, to do some views, uh, first we're going to check out our room. We're going to make it truly enormous because that's pretty much what we want to do. So, if we make this room 2000 by 2000. There we go. So it is way bigger than our resolution to the screen. So we're going to want it to follow us all the time. Alright. So first uh, I'm going to make a background just so that we can see that we are moving around and the view is moving. Okay, there we go. Just grab something here. Uh, edit it. Let's just scale it down to about 15. That should be fine. Okay, now let's set that as our background. Oh, not there. Okay, so that gives us a bit of reference so we can see when we're moving to the screen and where it's scrolling. Okay, so now we've got our room that we want the view to be in, and we're going to enable, we've got views, we're going to enable the use of views. So on view naught, enable the use of views. And we set it to visible when room starts. You need at least one room visible one view visible so that's going to be that one then over here we've got view in room so how much of the room do we want to see so what we're going to set to 1 to 8 over 720 so this is going to be 720p port to screen how much do you want to port same we just set that as the same and what do we want it to follow now here we select our player so it's going to follow him and okay so it's following him and then H bore and V bore, that's your H border and your vertical border. So horizontal and vertical border. How close do you want him to be to the border before it scrolls? So here, let's just say 50 and 50. And here, H speed, V speed. This is the speed at which it scrolls. So minus 1 is instantaneous. You can set it to anything else. At the moment, we'll just leave it to minus 1 and see what happens. Okay, so let's test this out. Okay, so we've got our man. Uh, okay, let's bring this in here. He's running around as usual. And when we get to the edge of the screen, see the screen moves with him. There we go. See, so he's always in view, and we can run around our humongous world, our game world, without having to worry about our man running into the distance and we can't see him. And just as last tutorial, he can shoot and do whatever. So that's pretty much views. Uh, we can check out this by changing the speed. Uh, let's set this to 2 and 2 and see what that does. Right, so when we get to the edge, let's see how fast it catches up. See, it's slower. Way slower. So our player is out of the screen for a little while before it catches up. It's catching up. Yeah, so we want that to be negative. I wonder what naught does. Set it to naught and see if that makes any other difference. Naught. Okay, yeah, naught doesn't. It just disables the view pretty much. Okay, so you're running from uh, minus one is instantaneous, and then one and above is slow, 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 and as you get it, as you get higher in the digits, it goes slow and slow. So that's pretty much views. So now that we've actually got our player to move around with the view, uh, I can start making the static HUD that will follow him and stay in view at all times. So that we're going to do in our next tutorial, so stay tuned. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, so next time we'll be creating our static HUD, which will show, it'll display ammo, and it'll always be in view with the player no matter what's moving around. Okay, well, thanks for watching.